Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And it is still Transformers week, and the next week is regular figures. Last Transformer of this week will be Transformers Animated Optimus Prime. And he is a good-looking figure. That's why we got him from Steel City Con. Because I've never had an animated Optimus Prime. But before we get down to transformation, we're going to look at the front of that figure. He gets some nice battle damage details, which is nice. I love that they included that. Sort of reminds me of the battle damage Transformers the movie, 86. Transformers the movie, Battle Damage Optimus Prime from the animated movie when he got really banged up real bad. But yeah, he's got the smokestacks like animated Prime. In the show, he's a fire truck, which is his gimmick. But he doesn't have the fire trailer part to show that off. But he rolls, like rolling things should. And he's really well sculpted, really well painted, and he looks wonderful. And I'm so glad to have an animated Prime in my collection now. But now we're going to get down to transformation because we don't have the original packaging, which is very simple. Going to disconnect his legs like so. Pull him down like so. Disconnect his arms like so which is the easy part of this transformation. Then we're gonna fold this down. We're gonna reveal his head like so. Fold down his arms like so. Sometimes getting the arms done can be a little bit tricky with this old school figure. I'm going to tab it, have his chest into that little notch in his chest. And there we got Prime's lower body all done. Rotate the legs like so. Flip down his feet like so. And rotate around. Flip out his hands. Flip this down. Fold these panels down to make his backpack. And there we got. Transformers Animated Leader Optimus Prime Autobots Transform and Roll Out And yeah, he's got some battle damage on him. This is the battle damage figure. The deluxe battle damage. So yeah, he's he's been damaged by Megatron and he's like messed up pretty bad, which is sort of the gimmick they make with this figure. So yeah, he's got some real life battle damage. And you can give him his laser himself a laser rifle. I've had this gun I got from the Goodwill outlet. You can have his big rifle. Give him this big axe slash sword. And he could go take this Megatron. Slash slash bang bang bang. Something you can do with this figure if you want to do it. And yeah, this is a nice looking figure from Transformers Animated. I downright love the paint and the detail. The battle damage is pretty cool too. I wish they would have given us a complete non-battle damage figure as well so we can have a regular Optimus and a battle damage Optimus. But now, for comparison, here on the channel, we're going to bring in his mortal enemy, Megatron. And it's the bigger scale Megatron from Transformers Animated. And yeah, he is bigger than Optimus Prime. Why not? Because it's the Cybertronian Prime. Next, for comparison, we're going to bring in 
his Medic Autobot Ratchet. Which I'm going to have to transform him off camera. Because I put him in vehicle mode for the fun of it. And I didn't think I'd be showing him off in robot mode. I thought I'd be showing him off in vehicle mode. But I guess my mind's a bit out of it, you could say, today. And here we got animated Ratchet next to his Autobot Leader Prime. Why not? And of course, if I don't have an animated Bumblebee, we got this Authentics Bravo Bumblebee, which is pretty much close to the animated Bumblebee as possible. But not completely. But hey, why not? Throw in Bumblebee to compare it with. Why not? Dare I say why not? is a Transformers animated Battle Damage Optimus Prime worth adding to your Transformers collection. If you love Optimus Prime like I do, this is a worthwhile figure to pick up. I really dig it. I really had a lot of fun transforming it back into robot mode and all that. Plus, you get some ball joints on this figure, which is pretty cool. And that's what I love about this figure. I have no nitpicks whatsoever. Except he's missing a part. That's a real shame. He's missing his original axe, which is a shame. But otherwise, I just love this figure. This is my new favorite Transformers animated figure. Next to my boy, Megatron. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out YouTube land.